Hello, welcome back. We are going through the C primer for load runner so that you will be able to customize the script that is generated by VueGen. So, so far we have gone through all these concepts and here we are going to look at the pointers. Let's say you define a variable int a. So that means what you are saying is that you are reserving some space in the memory and since it's an integer, this is a 4 byte space being allocated and the moment you go give a is equal to 5, this is where you assign so this value of thing is 5. Okay, So in this case, the name of this variable is a and especially this a, this variable, this thing must be stored somewhere. So how do I know what is that address of that place? To know the address of that place, we give ampersand that a. If the variable name is x, then ampersand x is going to give me the address location. So let's see if that thing is working or not. So let's run a simple program here. So this is the first program that I'm going to do. I'm going to define a variable int a is equal to 10 and then I'm printing the value here and the address here. So let's run this program. Like you know, so this is 10 and then this is a big number and this number is basically the address for that, that location. Alright. And then what you can do, we can have something like int then do get star and then give address. Okay, so by doing this thing, what we have defined, we defined a new variable, and that new variable name is address, and that address is basically pointer to an integer. Okay, so as uh, so the the way the way that you define a integer variable in in this in this line, similarly, you are defining a pointer variable, and that pointer variable name is address and then we are giving a star before that so that is going to differentiate between a normal variable to a pointer variable and it's saying that is pointing to an integer and then what we can do we can give address equal to percent a so the, the address of a is now stored in address let's see what we did we have a, we have a variable that variable name is a and then 10 is stored here and what we have do we have done another thing called address okay and what is stored in address the uh, in the address variable we are storing the the physical address of this variable let's say the physical address of this variable is this big number okay so this one two five three nine something something right so this one two five three nine something something is stored there then what you know like you know if we print the the address we're going to print one through five three five but if you print a, a asterisk address then what is going to figure out first is going to see what is the value of the, in this address so in the in, in the from the address you're going to find out the address location and then it's going to print the original value so if you write this thing so let's let's run this code and for simplicity i'm going to remove these lines so let's run this code so what we have now, we 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 are in this output message is printing the value of a. This line is printing the address. What is the address? The address is whatever the variable, you know. So whatever the address of this variable a. In, instead of referring any a, you can also find the value of a by this line. If you give star address, then it's going to print the value of the value at the location a so which is 10 so if I run this thing it will give me 10 some random number and 10 okay so let's run it so 10 some random number and then 10 so this is essentially what is the pointer so what we have done we have a variable then we have a pointer pointer is basically pointing to that address okay to get the value star address okay thank you